Hello YouTube. Now I've been experiencing problems with mice. So I've had some success for this type of trap. We've all seen these little nippers. Um, cracking little traps, old style. However, they do tend to make a bit of mess. Especially if the mouse bleeds everywhere. Um, and I'm a bit fed up of cleaning blood up off my slate floor. So I decided I would try um, one of these live catchers uh, trip trap they're called um, not terribly expensive simple enough sort of thing you um, put some peanut butter in there snap it back together basically Pop that little thing up there and put it where you think your mice are going to be running and obviously goes in after the peanut butter walks across the little mechanism there that trips the door and that's it basically he's in there you can then go and release him um, where you want further away from your premises the better um, because I have read that they do tend to find the way back so I'm going to give that a try this evening um, and hopefully I'll catch something um, and get rid of the little blighters I set the trap last night um, hoping to get a result and catch a mouse however um, we've caught something but it's not a mouse uh, I don't know if you can study it he's a slug um, obviously he's coming after the peanut butter um, and it's activated it's worked it's done the job it's meant to do however it's not what we expected. I expected to catch a mouse. Um, how the hell are these slugs are getting into the kitchen or where they're living, I have no idea at the moment. I shall have to start ripping kickboards off and have a look behind them. Um, so yeah, um, it's caught something, uh, but not quite what I was expecting. It's it's a slug, not a mouse. Well, there you go. It proves that these traps um, are capable of catching um, things, and hopefully, if we have another go this evening, I'll try and catch a mouse with it. But well, there you go. Um, not only are they good for catching mice, or possibly catching mice. Uh, but they're definitely good at catching slugs. Thanks for watching.